Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump in and play Tainted Isaacs. I accidentally pressed uh, enter. Okay. <laughs> well, we started with Sissy and whatever this trinket is. That was a that was an accident. Whoopsie. Replaces dimes with golden pennies. That seems incredibly niche, but potentially quite good. Also, the very overpowered red map. Reveals location of ultra secret rooms. Any trinket left in the boss or treasure room will be turned into a cracked key unless it's your first time in such room. Wait, what? Unless this is your first visit in such room. Oh, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Anyways, let's take the red map. It doesn't actually give us a cracked key off the bat. Um, but yeah, this is this is a good start. I'm also just going to do this just to see if there's any crawl spaces. It's kind of useless, kind of pointless, but oh well. But yeah, we're playing Tainted Isaac because I accidentally just pressed the button because I am indeed a moron. But we're jumping in. We're going for it. And it's another early morning recording. An early day Isaac experience. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And that is why I'm playing it. This is a relatively hard room here. I'll probably get hit at least once. Although, there is fires in the room, which has made things significantly easier, actually. Okay, doesn't matter. The enemies decided, nah, nah, son, life ain't for me. <laughs> I'll be taking the easy way out, thank you. Imagine this, you're just chilling at home in your on-fire basement thinking, nah, life's pretty, life's pretty chill. And then a giant child comes in that's been bruised and battered with a little tiny spider that seems to be the cutest thing you've ever done seen. And he just starts crying directly on you. And you're like, fuck this, I'm just gonna commit suicide. Bye. <laughs> I think I'd do the same. I'll be honest, I think I would. We also got uh, Brittle Bones or Hot Milk. I think Brittle Bones is probably the better pickup here. Um, Although, ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, we have a play and a half here. Okay, so wait. Get Brittle Bones. We have a play and a half here. So, we are going to go back over this way. It's not an XL floor, is it? No, it's not. Um, we're going to go and find a fire, which there should be at least one about uh, in this room here, right? Yep, so we go boom. Oh, shit, it puts out the fires. Oh, wait, why don't I just use this? Oh, I put it right in front of the door, idiot. And I'm going to do two more. Why did I put it right in front of the door? Oh, so dumb. Anyways, we got a bunch of fire in it, and then we grab this. Thank you. That fully heals us. Okay, and I believe we can get rid of brittle burns now and it not matter. So pretty, pretty good stuff. So I think now if I go in here and I drop my trinket, because honestly, I don't care about that trinket. There you go. It becomes a cracked key. Um, right. And then we go back over this way. Now, the question is, do I have to use my curse room to get in there? Maybe I'll go check some of the other rooms first and see. But it does look like I unfortunately have to use my curse room to get in there. Which, do you know what makes me just want to... That's a great room. Well designed. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> that's, that's very, very annoying. What the hell is this room? This room's bizarre. What's going on here? I'm very confused. Like, all of this is not... It's not up to curd, people. It's not up to curd. Anyways, as for the question of the day, what is your irrational fear? I thought that'd be a good one, an interesting one. What's a fear that you have that doesn't really make much sense? Obviously, people have stuff like fear of spiders and stuff. I don't have one, really. I'm... I have a weird fear of heights. But at the same time, like, I'm not I'm not afraid of heights in the way that I, like, I won't go up high and I won't, um, I won't, like, go on planes and stuff. But, I don't know, has, has anyone heard of the sensation called the Call to the Void? It's a very strange sensation that every single human gets. You've probably had it and don't even know about it. Uh, we'll definitely take Jesus Juice here. You probably have it, had it at some point and didn't even know about it. Also, I'm going wherever I want because I didn't actually, uh, pick my character. Um... Essentially, Call to the Void, it's it's a very weird sensation that, that pretty much everyone gets, where essentially, you have the, un, like, the un unnecessary and very strange urge to kill yourself. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very, very odd phenomenon, um, but do you know how, like, 
when you're um, you're like looking over the edge of something, and you just think to yourself, "What if I jumped?" You're not gonna jump. You know you're not gonna jump. You don't want to jump, but you still think, "What if I jumped?" It's that. Oh, for God's sake! Just give me some normal rooms. God damn it. Um, it's essentially that. Ooh, empty heart. Nah, I'll take the random. Celtic Cross isn't that good, but still. Um, but yeah, it's essentially that. It, like, and it doesn't it doesn't just go for like wanting to throw yourself off a bridge. It goes for lots of things. Like it could just be that you're in front of a train track and you're holding your phone and you're like, what if I threw my phone on the train track? Or what if I pushed that man? Or what if I did this? It's a very very strange sensation, and everyone gets it. You can't deny it. You've Every single person at some point in their life, for some reason or another, we'll definitely take Leech here, has seen someone on the street and gone, what if I pushed them over? You don't want to push them over. You know you don't want to. You know it's wrong to, and you don't, you don't even want to. But for some reason, your mind goes, hey, what if you pushed this person over? And you're like, why, Brain? Why? No, stop. <laughs> um, it's a, is this seriously going to take me? This is dumb. It's going to take me so many bombs. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a very, very strange thing. And I get a very, very strong, okay, we got the Judas's Fez and the Gusty Blood. Judas's Fez is better, but riskier. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Haha. -ha. It just gave me, um, just gave me an extra heart and some damage. Um, yeah, and I, I get that very strongly at heights. So I don't, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not really afraid of heights. I've been up high before, but I just get a very strong call to the void. Every time I go up high, all I can think about is, what if I jumped? And I'm like, I don't want to jump. Stop doing this, Brain. Um, it's actually kind of weird. Like, I don't really talk about my family that much, but I have a sister that's like five years younger than me. Uh, she's like 19. Um, and she went through a phase in her life where the call to the void essentially just completely took over her life. Like, I, I don't know, maybe it's something that runs in my family. Um, but essentially she had, she just had an issue where, like, she'd always have these thoughts and she couldn't get them out of her head. And she, she was quite young at the time. So at the time she didn't really, she didn't really comprehend, um, that it wasn't, that it wasn't something she wanted to do. She she just had the, the, the thought in her head and immediately was like, oh shit, why do I want to kill myself? And she didn't, but she didn't know that she didn't. <laughs> it's, it, it was very weird, so it's very hard to explain to her. Um, I will take this, we've got plenty of fire right? and I'll go angel deal. Um, yeah, it was very hard to explain to her, of course. Um, and it, yeah, it was just a very weird issue. And it's, it's, it's something that I've, I've had to deal with I say had to deal with it. Everyone has to deal with it. It's it's something like not a lot of people know it has a name. Not a lot of people know it's called the Call to the Void. Um, you can actually Google it. It is, it is a real thing. Uh, that that is what it's called as well. Um, but yeah, not a lot of people know about it, um, or, or at least not a lot of people know it exists in that term. So a lot of people have those thoughts, and you kind of get worried about it, especially when you're younger. Like I said with my sister, you kind of get worried about it, and you you think, why the hell am I thinking these thoughts? I don't want to push that old man over. But your brain's just like, do you know what? You do want to. <laughs> like, or, or, or not even that you do want to, it's like, you could. Um, it's like, no, I, no, stop. <laughs> it's just a super strange thing. The, the, the human mind is bizarre. It feels like it's out to get you. Do we get Bloody Gust again? Um, killing enemies grants tears. Okay, we'll take that over Celtic Cross, because I would take it over Sissy. Oh, wait, no, we'll take it over Brittle Burns, actually. I'm pretty sure Brittle Burns is... Uh, completely useless to us now and thank god we didn't take the other one because otherwise we'd had almond milk and i don't dislike almond milk but i don't really want it right now um yeah and i don't know it's it's like like i said it's not re i wouldn't even really call it an irrational fear as much because it's kind of got more of an explanation it's it's it, it's in every term not irrational but i still I, I don't really have many fears but i know a lot of other people do so i'm interested to hear them my girlfriend is definitely afraid of spiders in any form um so that's fun. <laughs> Whenever there's a spider in the house, which luckily I live in a flat on the second floor, so it's unlikely that we get many spiders. But whenever we do, she absolutely shits herself. Like when she was younger, she's this afraid of spiders. When she was younger, there was a spider in her bedroom. So she slept in the spare room for a week just because there was a spider in there and she didn't know where it went. Which, like I said, that's what irrational fears are. You, you think irrationally, you do things irrationally. You overreact and you don't know why. 
especially in the UK, spiders are like the most harmless thing ever in the UK. I think there's like one type of spider that can legitimately hurt you in the UK, and they are rare. Even then, that might not even be true. Uh, but, 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 I don't think I actually want any of those. Um, yeah, I gotta say, even then, I, I, I don't even know if I'm, I'm correct in saying that. I really wish we had more trinkets to uh, throw away. Tell you what, I'm definitely experiencing more lag lately. I don't know what's causing it. I've tried to thin down my mod list a little bit and remove things that are necessary, but this room specifically is like dropping like 10 FPS. This room is not too bad. Ah, what the hell? There you go. Easy. HP up or spoon. Um, I think I'll take the HP up and then just grab back Celtic Cross again. Because we get to keep the HP, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and we'll just keep going. No trinket this floor, unfortunately. Let's keep it moving on. I'm glad we got Judas's Fez, though. That has been a good get for us. I really love Judas's Fez. Every three rooms, we get Book of Belial, and we get Judas's um, Multiplier. A Perthro is potentially very good. I like her, the Perthro. Leech almost messed me up there. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a, a bomb one, and he, tr he tried to kill it while it was right next to me. I'm like, no thank you, sir. No, thank you. I can't believe how good Brittle Burns is, by the way. I used to think Brittle Burns was trash. I used to always be like, oh, why the hell would I want to swap all of my full red hearts for empty burn hearts? But now I'm like, holy hell. This is like the strongest thing ever. Um, what a trash room. What a trash room. I really think any of those two rooms should have a good amount of consumables in them. Not one grey chest. Not so good. We're doing really good on consumables and stuff though today. I've been having some episodes where I'm just lacking on keys desperately and this time things ain't so bad. Ooh, Monstro's Lung, hell yes. Um, I love Monstro's Lung, thank you. Helps it cross, you can stay there. And the thing is we've got pretty good fire rate right now. It's not amazing fire rate, but for Monstro's Lung, it makes it more than usable. I love Monstro's Lung. Monstro's Lung's probably one of my favorite tier effect modifiers. I'd say that Hemolacria is definitely up there after the changes in Repentance that it received. Monstro's Lung's always been a top tier one though. It just, I don't know, it's just, it feels so powerful, but so synergistic and it's so different. And it's got like upsides and downsides. It's got like the randomness of the spread and also the sort of difficulty of the range of everything. It's It's got a lot going for it. I like it a lot. So we should get an angel deal here, hopefully. We got the stain. Did we lose our eternal heart? We did. Damn it. Gotcha. We get Bumera and Latch Key. I think Latch Key is genuinely the better pickup here. Because it's only going to give us one burn heart, and I don't really care. And I don't think this is worth using Perthro on either. And a lock upgrade isn't bad. Although, I think everything else we have is better than the look, to be honest. Let's just let's just stick with what we got and then carry on. But yeah, I'm quite liking Tainted Isaac right now. Despite accidentally picking him, he's a very fun character. A lot of people say that they find him too limiting, but I actually, I kind of find the opposite. Like, of course he does have a very specific hard limit of eight items, but it's kind of insane how little items you actually need to win and when you get to see double the amount of items uh, that you would normally on a regular run having oh my god having uh eight items also we didn't get an angel deal damn uh, what, are you okay sir <laughs> that was like my mom's dead i'm just gonna chill um having eight items is fine like when you when you get to see double the amount of items also the extra tier rate we get from Lusty Gust or whatever it's called is very nice here. Ooh, two very, very good items here. I think Fettered Hearts is probably better. Uh, fettered enemies share damage with other, other enemies. Yeah, let's let's go for that. And we'll trade that for Sissy, I guess. I'm sorry, Sissy. You're like the best little lad. Ooh, we could pair through you actually and see what we get. Glass Cannon is very nice. Although, do you know what? I'm going to actually take the D12 because the D12 got a pretty significant buff in one of the latest patches that not a lot of people know about. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> Legitimately one of the worst ideas I've ever had. I don't know why I used it while the room was still in combat. 
But, can you excuse me, please, little fire? Um, have we got, oh, we got Curse of Creation on as well. That's funny. Uh, but as you can see, it can essentially spawn any rock type now. Like, anything. So you can get some, like, really good stuff out of this. With Curse of Creation, this is pretty, pretty wacky. <laughs> but I, I, I really like it. It's, it's very good. Uh, we'll go in here. Ooh, champion belt. Yes, please. I'm sorry, Leech. You are, uh, gone. I love you too, my little buddy, but damage is damage. We got a Savage Heart here as well. Nice. Can't pick that up, unfortunately, right now. Um, but yeah, it, it got a pretty big buff. It's, it's kind of a buff and a nerf, because now it can spawn, like, purple fires and stuff. But, like, if we just pop it in this room... We didn't get anything super useful, but you can just get a lot more useful things. You can get, like, any type of poop. You can get, um... You can get, like, blue fires, stuff like that. It's it's really good. Before, it was not quite as universal. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Do we just want to do the boss? It is only Necro 1. We have seen kind of everything there is to see on this floor, so... I don't mind it. But yeah, we're dealing really good damage now. Really good damage. He rage murdered. Kind of hard to hit this guy while he was raging. But it's okay, we got him. Ooh, um... I think Chimera is a really good item, but I'm just wondering what the hell we swap it for. Honestly, I think we maybe get rid of Red Map. It's very good, but we're just not getting any use out of it right now. Let's go for it. I'm sorry, Red Map. You are good, but we're just not getting what we need. Okay. Ooh, baby. Spirit Sword is obviously a big no, but breaking the game, however, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, So we'll take that and break the game. Yeah, do you know what? That's fine. Um, I'll also bomb you, because why not? Yeah, Um, I gotta say, it's gonna break the game. Because, as you can see, enemies now become prisms, which is pretty insane. And down we go. Feeling good. Our health is still a little iffy. But otherwise, this run's looking pretty good. A lot of soul stones. That was a terrible soul of the keeper. Um, I will carry this with me. No, I'll carry this with me first. And I'll maybe come back for the other one. Also, let's reroll everything and see what we get. Nothing good. It's one of those things. It's a, it's a gamble. You, you might not get anything worthwhile, but you might. Go away, you. I don't like the idea of this. Pride is dead. Decap attack. Good, good. Right. Soul of Isaac. Do your magic. Work for me. Ah, excuse me. Ha! Please stay still. Fuck. This room. <laughs> that room is tough. Nice. Fettered and prismed. You know how it be. Probably shouldn't have taken the rotten heart there. Considering, but oh well. Right, we do have a soul heart here. Very risky to grab it, but I did. Blood puppy! He's the best little lad, but I don't know if we can afford to take him. Let's Soul of Isaac and see what we end up getting. Okay. Sadly, nothing worthwhile. Soul of Isaac has let me down. Now, should I go back and get Soul of the Forgotten? I kind of want it because it's like a free... Um, it's essentially free six players on a sack room, but still. That is Stopwatch. Stopwatch is pretty good. 
da 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 what, what, what do we get rid of? There's a f we could get rid of a flat one damage up, maybe. I da 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 Nah, I'm just not going to take it. I'm pretty happy with what I got going on. Also, let's pop this and see what we get. Probably should have popped it in this room instead of actually thinking about it, but oh well. The fettered hearts are doing nicely as well. I'm liking them. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, again, not much else we need to see this floor. Uh, I will go back and get the solar forgotten because... It could end up being pretty useful, despite the fact that we have to travel pretty far to get it. Right. I'll also do these extra rooms as well, why not? Slightly annoying that we don't have the speed that we gain from killing stuff throughout these rooms, but... It is what it is. And the other two soul stones there are basically useless. But yeah, this prism item can get real wacky. Real wacky. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to have caused as much frame rate lag as I was expecting it to, though, which is nice. It's a nice surprise. God damn it! Whenever you see this room, you just know. Ugh, the fear. The fear sets in. Nice. Good. Good. Soul of Eve. Sorry, but no. Okay, we can actually head to our boss now. I'll probably use our um, our dice in this L-shaped room up here because there was a lot of rocks in there. I'm interested to see what we might get. Lots of fires, some skulls. There's a golden poop. You see? Some good stuff you can get out of this. And then let's just go and do this. Prism me, baby. Get prismed. Boss rush is, is... We got some potential for boss rush. I will take this. Let's check it out. Is there anything here we really want? Honestly, there isn't. Flyboy is pretty good, but I don't think it really trades or compares. So let's uh, duck out of there. We are on extremely low HP for where we are in the game right now. I'm not, be I'm not really getting hit all that much, but it's a, it's been a pretty consistent thing that we're on low HP. Now that, that's a trinket that, that is going to spice up this run quite a bit. I love that. Bugger tears are awesome no matter when, and it's just a very good trinket in general. So I like to see it. Good, good. God, I love all the stats. Because we got the Chimera as well as the Gusty Blood. Uh, the just sheer amount of stat changes we get during a room is kind of crazy. We get fire rate, movement speed, a bit of damage. <laughs> and then obviously Bugger Belial's on top of that too. It's just, it's crazy. Some wild stuff going on for us. Good, good. Good, good. You can hear all the gulping thing from the Chimera item going off. Fettered heart there, proving to be very useful. Are you okay, sir? Apparently not. Another one of these. Thank you for some babies. Feed the babies. I like the babies. De I was just I'm definitely getting hit here, but I got lucky. Oh, damn. This guy's got some chonkers with him. This guy's got some chonkers with him. I wasn't ready for the chonkers. Okay, either one of these is good. Probably better off taking the, the slice of cheese. Because there you go, it gives us a pill effect. Excuse me. Slice of cheese. Get out of my inventory. Stairway. Oh, there's some good stuff here. The Convergence is, like, truly a masterpiece. And we don't really have enough money to make that work. Okay, let's say bye to the Fettered Hearts. I love them, but 
Harmonic Convergence, if you please. Yes. Yes, if you please. That's beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. It's not that many more tiers, but it's more tiers. More tiers is always more fun. They directly correlate. They directly correlate. Oh god! I told you we'd break the game. It always breaks the game. Always. In some way or another, it always breaks the game. This item is so much fun, but so fucked. <laughs> also, another nice thing about the, the harmonic convergence is it converges on the on the spot. Um, on the spot at which you fired it, not at the spot at which you are. So you can actually, like, fire, then move away to have some tears still, like, placed behind you. Kind of know what I mean? Still got this Soul of the Forgotten as well, by the way. Haven't really done anything with that yet. I'm waiting to see if we find a sack room. We haven't found one yet. At least I don't think. There's a good chance I've walked past, like, two or three of them and just completely forgotten. Um, we'll find out. There is enemies in here. Good. I was a bit confused for a second there. Aha. Huzzah. Don't suck me, boy. I shall not be sucked. There was a heart there anyways. Stupid. I should probably check out the uh, arcade just because we have money that we're not spending. And we got a strength card, which honestly isn't actually worth carrying now. What the hell? We got a we got a travel to the next floor thing. I, I, I did not know it could give you one of those. Got a trap door. Very strange. That's a big old pill. That's a big old bolt of steel pill. Okay, health is way better now. We had some issues with health in the past. We're mostly fine now. That just sorted us right out. Okay, ah! What the hell hit me then? Oh no, it doesn't matter. All, all the, all the, the cool health stuff that I had, it's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> I, I squandered it. In, in just two rooms, I squandered it all. I'm having a really hard time telling what's my tears and what's the enemy's tears. That's definitely part of it. Just because I've got Convergence having so many red tears coming towards me, it's very hard to tell if they're enemies or not when, they're, when they get mixed in. For the most part, I can tell, but sometimes one gets kind of lost in translation. Really? You're going to spawn it all the way at the other side of the room? Yeah, you are. Big dead, sir. Big dead. That's nice to get an eternal heart there. And we'll go up. Up, up, and away. Oh, my God. Been a very fun run so far. Do not like this room. There's a lot going on in this room. How did those miss? There you go. What? How are these shots missing? Oh, we got a crawl space. Nice. And a tears up pill. Booyah. You see? Use the D12. Get a free crawl space. Look. How would I have ever won this run without this crawl space? There was three flies and a single poop that gave me nothing. Now, I... I think if if a if a pro and analyzed this run, they would say that that would be the moment in which I won. That is the clear cut moment in which goddamn, <laughs> Dormimic, are you okay? Go away, fires! <laughs> I just re-rolled quite a lot of them into nothing. <laughs> Get re-rolled out of existence. Just funny. Still no sack room. Oh no. She is heartbroken. Beautiful. Ow. Back to no soul hearts. The way that God intended.
we should be fine. I'm not going to guarantee it, but we should be fine. Hey, it's a sack room. Would you look at that? Soul of the forgotten. Boom. 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 Wait, where did all of this health go? Why have I got different health now? Where did my red hearts go? Why have I got soul hearts instead of red hearts? Exactly. Has soul of forgotten always done this? I'm confused. What the hell? I'm confused. Where did my red hearts go? Didn't I have more red hearts than this? Am I am I am I dumb? Did I not? Maybe I'm dumb. I swear I had more red hearts than this. I didn't have any soul hearts. I, I literally, yeah, I, de I definitely didn't. Because I just said back to no soul hearts the way God intended. I remember saying that. That dude's got a lot of buggers on him. So yeah, I don't, I don't know really what happened there. But it was not intended, I don't think. Unless that's how soul of... Has soul of forgotten always worked that way? Does it always convert it some of your red hearts to soul hearts? I don't think so. That seems kind of weird. Really? You're going to use Book of Belial in a room with no enemies? Congratulations. Good, good. Might as well get one last big reroll. Sadly, nothing. Did get a holy poop, but not exactly in the place we wanted it in. Do not like the look of this room. This room scares me deeply. But we got past it. Yeah, you are going to have buggers stacked on you for days. Good luck with that. Oh, he just... I forgot that when he teleported, he got rid of them all off of him. Still, though, you are definitely dead this time around. Cool, cool. Into the chest. So, I don't really know how I feel about this next floor. Obviously, these chests could change things up, but I'm actually pretty happy with the items we have, so it's not necessary. Now, Hemalacria, you say? Hemalacria, you say? Hmm. Let's at least test to see how it works. Pretty good. I think I want to trade the flat damage up, right? Yeah, there you go. And then Parasitoid Tears are also really good. <laughs> My god! It just deleted him out of existence. That's so funny. Oh my lord. This is quite the combo. If we can get piercing, we are in the money. I think piercing would really tip the scales. Ghosty boy, where are you? <laughs> my god, I love this. More HP for me. Oh, gosh. Oh, lordy lord. I'm speaking, baby. Oh, telekinesis is way better than, um, than the active we had. Ooh, look at these champion bosses. Look at them go. Oh, god, that's a lot of flies. Kettle Heart, can you get out of the way so I can check what these items do? Ah, that's... Uh, it, it's pretty good. Oh, here I found Thank you. And a Fettered Heart as well. Why not? Good, good. Another chest. Just the thingy. No, thank you. Just the thingy. 
Oh my god. Oh, I love this. All stats, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's better, maybe. And nothing great there. That room again, hello. I think we just go do Mega Satan now, right? I think we just go do Mega Satan now. Yes, I was hoping we timed it right to get Book of Belial in this fight, and we did. Hey, sir. We, we, we might insta-kill him, by the way, because there's a, a glitch with Lacrophy where it can, like, your damage can get ridiculous. I don't think that glitch ever got patched from what I what I remember. But yeah, sometimes if Lacrophy hits right, it just insta-kills things, which is what we've seen a few times now. I mean, I haven't fired down there in ages, and it's just things are still dying. Like that, look. That, that guy just insta-died. It's like if the Lacrophy tier, like, joins up at the right spot. Let's see how quickly we can kill the second phase here. I'm, I, I'm tempted for Delirium with this setup. If it gives us the option. It's, it's just about hitting it at the right spot, which actually is quite difficult for us. Because we can't actually choose when the tiers split because they're all just gonna... There you go, look, look at that damage. Look at that damage. It did it. It did the thing. Just insta-killed him. It's so good. And it is going to give us the option. Let's do it. Just because we have an essentially insta-kill setup. Ooh, also. What the hell is going on this floor? There are some new visuals going on in some of these rooms, right? Ooh, what the hell's all this? What on earth is this room? Also, rooms galore, adding a bunch of new rooms to the uh, delirium floors with, as you can see, the uh, tainted enemies. I very much like that. Much harder rooms in the void in general. I really like it. But yeah, there's some visually visual tweaks in this floor, I think. I would like a bit more HP. Look at this. Reap creep. Doing his thing. I don't know why there's a lot of blue going on. I thought it'd be a lot more white than blue, but I still like it. Looks really good. I'm not really aiming for anything in particular with uh, what boss we go for. I'll just take what I can get. Dude, come on. Dude, just show me your ass. Thank you. Dead. <laughs> and... Doo -doo -doo. I think... No, I don't think that's actually a, a damage up on anything, really dead. <laughs> like we've only got 11 damage. I think foul guts one we can pick up and then put down. Just for extra HP. Stapler might be more damage than champion belt. Yes, it is. Why, yes, indeed it is. Okay, some of these rooms have visually changed as we're going back through them. <laughs> also, I think with Chimera, we get like a, a stat upgrade for the full floor upon killing the boss. Which I think on the Delirium floor is incredibly advantageous. Because every time we kill a boss, and I think it's even bosses outside of boss rooms, which there is a good few of. We get a permanent stat upgrade for the floor. Like, let's try and keep track of that. Next time we fight a boss in a regular room, let's give it give it a little look. So this, for example, looks horrible. And then we get we didn't get a stat upgrade there. Actually, we did not. Let's keep it going. Does the Void Floor normally have this grainy vignette, or is that new? I feel like that's new. OK. 
bucket. Whoa, this is a room and a half. Eh, keep me safe. Oh, there's some worms. Oh, this is just such a beautiful combination of items. This is what I mean, like, you don't need you don't need any more than eight items to be ridiculously overpowered. When you're using the power of mods, anything is possible. Hey, blue baby. Bye, blue baby. So another damage up. I, I think we're pretty much set on everything that we have right now. I don't think we need to trade anything out. How are you alive, sir? <laughs> Keep going. Oh, there was a boss room back that back that way. Ooh, brownie with the big poops. It's an interesting brownie room. Ooh, I would say that maybe the fire rate could be good. Let's just see how much it ends up giving us. Nah, not worth it. It's only 0 0.36. If it was like closer to 1, then I would have definitely taken it. Where is our Deliri Yum? We've luckily found quite a lot of the other bosses first, but it's not like we can take many of the items. Oh wait, we can grab this bag and put it back down just to get three runes. Now I do have to test if they remembered. They did remember. <laughs> so I've noticed that a lot of people in modding, mainly the Ipecac mod, quite often forget to... Um, to put that trigger on items that makes it so that they don't uh, <laughs> makes it so that they don't just keep giving their on drop reward over and over and over again. Ipecac is particularly bad for that. There's like three items in Ipecac that do that. I think it's about three. If I'm thinking about it right. What up, Blastasis? Boom. I do wonder, can we like one-shot Delirium if we get him in his first phase in his natural form? I doubt it, but it'd be awesome. Damn, he switched. There's boss armor to deal with now. Although, damage is pretty good. I don't even know what's going on right now. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Again, no idea what's my tiers and what's the enemies. I don't think I'll ever know. But I do have a secret weapon. Telekinesis is pretty good. Go away with your big old feet, you dirty woman. If he hadn't have gone into his other forms, we could have killed him a lot quicker here. Because the boss armor is... Oh, there you go. He's in his normal form. He's dead. <laughs> normal form doesn't have boss armor. He dies extra quick. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. A spectacular run. Spectacular run. Even if it was an accidental pick of 10 at Isaac. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.